let's get it then youtube man we back with another ma 2k 22 next gen banger man listen right here we got the core badges you a sweaty player you are average you know what i'm saying your average joe to just get out of work or get out of school you know what i'm saying trying to pick up something trying to be good at the game this is it 2k has always been ever since they've been bringing these badges out it's been a badge game you work towards your badges whatever badges you want that's how you make your bill you don't make your bill by attributes you only use the attributes that's necessary to get the baddest you know what i'm saying that you're gonna need because 2k has always been a badge heavy game man listen so make sure this is part one of five man we're gonna do small forwards uh shooting guards power forwards and centers we're gonna do all the positions so make sure you leave a like you know what i'm saying turn on your notice and go ahead and hit the sub button while you're down there but we will go ahead and get straight into it man finishing when it comes to the point guard for the average player including myself too man you know what i'm saying you don't really need too much finish you know you need a little something maybe if you want to do a little finishing but you ain't gonna be doing too much you these days shooting costs so much you ain't gonna have much to even put on finishing for real listen when it comes to finishing only thing you need in finishing is giant slayer you want that as high as you can get it and you want slithery as high as you can get it you know what i'm saying right now we got an 84 driving dunk and a night uh 99 layup right now it's costing slithery five costing giant slayer five only thing it's gonna do is get a little cheaper than that i think to like uh four probably the cheapest you're gonna be able to get it but you definitely want these at least you know what i'm saying go with as high as you can get it just to you know be able to finish simple just because you ain't got to finish but you can finish even if it's a layup um you won't posterize at least bronze you don't really need posterizer and if you do put it on you don't need to pass bronze you know what i'm saying that's it for that now when it comes to shooting as the guard this is where you're gonna want to be man. and like i said we talking about core bad you know what i'm saying when you get chef circus threes you know what i'm saying blinders all those badges those are gameplay badges that's your game style you know what i'm saying certain people play like i don't shoot off the dribble a lot so i wouldn't need you know what i'm saying difficult shots so i wouldn't need you know circus threes or none of that because i don't shoot off the dribble i'm more of a set shooter me personally but for the average player these are the badges that you got to have no matter your game type you know what i'm saying you want at least lucky seven at least bronze you gotta have that bronze it's the best bronze badge that you gonna get it help boost your threes no matter all oh, your finish no matter if you playing rec comp you know uh park neighborhood or whatever no matter what you playing it's still gonna help that is the best cheapest badge that you can get dead eye you want even if you don't take a lot of close out shot if you take a lot of close out shots you probably want to go but if you just want to put some insurance on your player just in case somebody close off fast silver is definitely good when it comes to dead eye you want that silver at least you know what i'm saying silver or high i said for the average player you can put it on silver if you more of a player to shoot you know what i'm saying with people in your face a little bit more put it as you know at least go um when it comes to mismatch expert you want this as high as you can get it at the point guard coming off the screens you know what i'm saying playing with big man clothes and auto whatever the case may be when they switching you can want this badge as high as you can get it um volume shooter another one you want on at least bronze just to get a just a little boost towards your shot you know what i'm saying you don't gotta have nothing too crazy you can put it higher but i say bronze is good enough just to get a little boost to your shot you know that's one point to that stop and pop stop and pop you want this as high as you can get it it will give you a significant boost towards your shot you know what i'm saying when you pull up off the stop so make sure you get this as high as you get it limitless spot up you want this at least silver that's another one and not matter of fact this ain't even a core badge limitless spot up ain't a core badge that's a, a preference badge a lot of people don't take deep threes i know a lot of people that just shoot you know what i'm saying right down the line but you can if you got a guard you will want him to be able to shoot limitless so you can put that on silver um hot zone hunter you definitely want that as high as you can get it whatever you build you make i got bills in the video you know what i'm saying i'll leave a card you can go check those out i also have them at the end of the video so you can check them out as well man but listen you want this as high as you can get a green machine only use this if you green a lot of shots if you ain't green a lot of shots and you don't know your jump shot yet it ain't no need to put this on yet when you start green after you practice with your jump shot you get in the lab and you start greening without green machine put on green machine and then it's gonna help you even more and it's another badge these two core badges right here that you do want for every no matter what your game style is but for the high zone hunter you don't have to put that on necessarily at the beginning because you got to grind with your build to even get your high zones anyway um sniper a lot of people saying don't use sniper man listen don't you don't need it on hall of fame you know what i'm saying gold gold is what i prefer you know what i'm saying silver you can play with it and get past on silver for the average player i prefer gold man listen if you're only hitting slightly you ain't doing no earlies no lates put on this and it will help you out a lot if you're doing earlies and lates you know what i'm saying because you don't really know your jump shot are you trying jump shots and all this 
it's not going to be beneficial, man. It's not going to be beneficial. Shooting early or shooting late is going to hurt you. If you're shooting slightly early, slightly late, you know what I'm saying, you can live with it and you will be all right. But those are the core baddies, you know what I'm saying. We got um Sniper, High Zone Hunter. Sniper, High Zone Hunter, Green Machine. Um, Catch and Shoot, you want that at least silver. You know what I'm saying, you definitely, that's another one you definitely want at least silver. It's the point guard. You know what I'm saying, the other position you might want it a little high, but silver is good enough for the point guard. Corner Specialist, you can have that on bronze, at least bronze. Only way you put that higher is if you if you shoot a lot of corner. If you ain't in the corner a lot or you ain't fading to the corner shooting threes, you don't need it. But you do want it at least bronze. Dead eye, you want that. You know what I'm saying? That's another bad. Um, hot, uh, mismatch expert, that's another bad. You want as high as you can get it. And lucky seven, man. And uh, stop it, pop. These are all badges that you're going to want for your core badges. On to playmaking, man. This got to be by far the most important category on a point guard. Some may not think that, but listen, if you're a guard, you are a facilitator. You are the reason your team will either win or lose. If you're a guard that can score and, and handle the ball and pass the ball, Nine times out of ten, your team is gonna win. If you can't do that, then I don't know what to tell you. Listen, point guard, you want to put your playmaking badges and your ball handling badges as much as you can get when it comes to point guard, because you gotta be able to handle the ball. Core badges, put bullet pass on Hall of Fame. Listen, don't have it no less. To get it Hall of Fame, you're gonna need it on a 90. Seven, as you can see right here, 97. Put bullet pass on Hall of Fame. It's gonna change the way you pass to your teammates, and they're gonna be happy. The way you gonna have to tell them to get used to it. Put it like that. If you ain't played on Hall of Fame, I'm telling you, the pass is gonna come so fast. But that's what you want because you want to let them be able to get the ball in time to be able to get the ball up. For me, a mandatory have a Hall of Fame bullet pass on your point guard. You want bail out at least silver. You know what I'm saying? Bail out silver. Even if you ain't, even if they closing on and you trying to make the pass, that's gonna be a bail out pass they a lot ain't every time you shooting the ball you know what i'm saying you throwing the ball even if you don't play like that if they're closing out and you trying to make a pass i'm telling you it's a bailout pass you want that at least silver too that's another one quick first step you want this as high as you can get it. i prefer don't have no less than gold you know what i'm saying don't do no less than gold when it come to quick first step and definitely don't have no less than gold when it come to unpluckable at least have gold for quick first step unpluckable that's what you want you know what i'm saying glue hands you want those at least gold too no lower than gold silver is not good enough you want gold or you want higher when it come to glue hands you want your handles for days as high as you can get it because this year on next gen anyway you know what i'm saying when you tired your jump shot change so even if you're not a ball handler you know what i'm saying and you want to do simple you know simple crossover whatever you still want to have this as high as you can get it you know uh quick chain is like a skill badge you know what i'm saying you don't really want that too much i say floor general floor general is another one that you will want you know what i'm saying dimer is good but you want floor general because floor general helps everybody even when you're not passing the ball to them and they get them their stats so you're you're your big man that can shoot or your you know your um tweener players like your small forward and stuff those ones when they only got like a 83 three ball or 82 three ball if you put this on go with it to get them that um that next tier that 85 three ball that next tier that they're gonna need to be a better shooter you know what i'm saying so you definitely want to help them out in that way and after you put those core badges on man then you can play with tight handles you know what i'm saying tight handles another good bad space creator silver is usually a safe spot to get you you know what i'm saying the, the uh, necessary animations you want um you can mess with needle threader and uh that's about it you know I'm saying when it comes to the the playmaking badges, like I said, I gave you the core ones. Um, but right here, everything else after them core, man, that's all a preference. That's all a game style. Now, when it come to defense, man, listen, a little goes a long way in 2K this year when it come to defense, man. Don't let these badges fool you and, you know, how high you need them and this and that. Listen, defense, you want ankle braces as high as you can get it. Like I said, this is just a template thing. It's, this right here is silver, but you're going to want it at least gold or high. At least gold. You understand me? At least have it, um, ankle braces gold or higher, but you're going to want it to go because a lot of these ball handlers, man, if you got anything less than gold, your ankle's going to get a lot you know what i'm saying the guard position you want to try to keep your ankles as strong as possible you understand me um interceptor is another one that you can want um you can put that at least silver at the beginning of the year like the first three seasons three or four seasons man y'all can fact check me in the comments you know what i'm saying i think it's three or four seasons where interceptor hall of fame was just a problem he was intercepting all mac i think they changed it in four or five you know what i'm saying i can't remember but yeah like it ain't it ain't that no more so silver you know what i'm saying it's definitely good enough um intimidator if you can get that 
I'm pretty sure you need to put a little bit block on so you can get that bronze is definitely good enough when it comes to that. You'll want that at least bronze. Menace. I think um silver menace is good enough. You do want to get those, you know what I'm saying? Just in case to dump their you know, dump their attribute down a little bit. So you want that um at least silver clamp. If you can get it gold, definitely make it gold. You're gonna want I say the safe spot is silver for clamps, you know what I'm saying? With a little strength. If you put a little strength for your guy, silver clamps usually be good enough to be able to get a few bump animations on the necessary animations you need, man. I prefer to make your guard to have at least bronze chase down bronze chase down definitely go a long way if you get beat on a dribble and the big man can't slide over to help you know what i'm saying fast enough you can't be able to get chased down listen off ball pass is another badge that you're gonna want on at least go you know what i'm saying because at the guard position your ball your uh, ball handle is definitely gonna be on the move a whole lot so you want to be able to you know what i'm saying handle him a little bit gold is a preferred on here when it comes to pick dodger have it listen the best teams are gonna set screens whether you got a team, whether you don't have a team, the best teams gonna set screens because it makes it that much easier and makes it to the point where you have to make a decision. Five out is a little bit more, you know, it's five out is good too, don't get it twisted, but most of the best teams are gonna set screens and make the other team, the opposing team have to, um, you know, make a decision. So at least go or hide when it comes to the point guard, at least go or higher. Silver, bronze, not good enough. Make this at least go or higher you know what i'm saying if you a reacher you can put pickpocket but the core badges for the average player man that's just gonna need these you got to have these badges pick dodger off ball pass intimidator menace you don't necessarily have this a preference i think you should have it because it's definitely gonna help out you know what i'm saying when somebody beats you off the dribble and you just need to get back into play but um cramps you definitely have to have and ankle braces you have to have you know um if you miss anything make sure y'all rewind all y'all gotta do is rewind it back you know what i'm saying listen to it over but make sure you um interceptor you gotta have as well hustler is a preference bad i don't try it on all levels and it just you know i don't know i tried it on all levels man i guess you could put it on bronze silver me personally i put it on bronze i done tried it on gold i done tried it on hall of fame man at my point guard and my small forward and on my big man i done tried it at hall of fame on all of those levels i played at least i usually play at least 15 to 20 games with all of them and man listen i ain't seeing really no difference i done had it on hall of fame and still it's like bro are you gonna even pick the ball up you know it's every now and then man but like i said if you missed anything you can make sure you go rewind it back you know what i'm saying if you may I, I know i be trying to talk fast you know what i'm saying to get this knowledge out to get this video out man because ain't nobody got no time to be wasting no small talk you know what i'm saying so i try to get the videos out right now listen physicals is a no-brainer bro max out your speed i don't care what build you got you know what i'm saying big man point guard max out your speed bro put a little strength on them if you can you know what i'm saying definitely put a little strength on them. even this 38 strength will go a long way and then when you're putting up defensive boost because most people buying boost and you're getting your um you at your gym your uh gatorade it's gonna go a long way man when it comes to bumps and certain things because most guards not gonna have strength so when you bump them and when you you know what i'm saying that this is gonna help your clamps be a little better your silver clamps gonna be better than a silver clamps from a guard that don't have strength so by you having strength for using silver clamps the guard that don't have strength for use silver clamps not gonna get as much as you if you understand what i'm saying when you're at the guard you want this and i say 95. if you ain't trying to get your you know if you ain't trying to do no gatorades and none of that make it 99. most people do their gatorades you know what i'm saying 95 is good enough do your gatorade then you are right. listen make sure you hit the sub button make sure you turn on your notice make sure you hit the like button man you know what i'm saying we're trying to at least get the 50 likes on this video i'm definitely gonna bring five parts man the next part unless y'all say otherwise in the comment section man listen the next one is gonna be the shooting guard small forward power forward then center we're gonna do all of them individual videos man listen like i said before man thank y'all so much for the love make sure you go check out them videos at the end of the video right after you see my face i know you're tired of seeing me right now man but listen we out until next time peace